Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and today I'm going to show you how I make my fried cabbage. You're going to start off by chopping up 12 to 16 ounces of bacon. Next, you're going to fry the bacon over a medium heat until it's cooked through. Okay, so while my bacon fat is rendering, let's get started on our cabbage. So the first thing you're gonna do is just cut off that bottom part of the cabbage. And you're just gonna set it aside. And then what I like to do is just peel those outer leaves off. And if they look good, like this one does, there's a couple of bad spots that I'll pull off. You're just gonna save it. So I'm just pulling off those bad spots and I'm just gonna set it to the side. And do the same thing for the next layer. And all I'm doing is just peeling out those outer leaves that are easier to peel apart. And I'm just gonna roll them and cut them like you would collard greens. And I'm just gonna roll them up. Just like this and you're just gonna slice them, just like that. And don't worry, we're gonna wash it, so don't worry. Just gonna cut it just like this. And then you're just gonna cut them again. And I just have a colander and I'm just putting those cut pieces into the colander. Now, once you have the outer leaves off, you're just gonna set that head down just like that. And then I always cut it into four pieces or so. So put a slice here. I just cut around that core part. And then I cut a slice here. And you can see the cores right here. And then I just take off as much as I can before I get to that core which is right here. So this is just trash for me. And now I just take the fourth and I just cut it again. So now that that bacon has cooked and that fat has rendered, I'm gonna add my cabbage to the skillet and I've already rinsed off my cabbage pretty well. I'm just gonna add it in a little bit at a time and it's gonna look like it's not all gonna fit that's okay, there is a ton of water in cabbage, so it will cook down. So I've almost got all of my cabbage in there. As you can see, I've let it cook down a little bit and just adding a little bit more. Don't add any water to your cabbage, otherwise it's not gonna be fried cabbage, it's gonna be boiled cabbage. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and this is what my cabbage looks like now. I turned on my oven light so you guys could see a little bit better. And even though um, I used almost a pound of bacon to cook this cabbage, it's still not really salty. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, and that is it. That is my quick and easy recipe for Southern Fried Cabbage. If you enjoyed this recipe, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you. I have an entire playlist of quick and easy recipes and desserts that I will link in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.